All right, welcome back. In this video, we are learning what is the probability that a project will finish early or late. So looking at this, this is the, the network diagram that we were able to build in previous videos based on this, uh, this table of dependencies here. Um, but we've been working on this for a couple of videos. And so what we learned from this network diagram is we were able to figure out the expected duration of the project was 41 days. You can see that here. Uh, it had a project variance of 8.55 and a standard deviation of 2.92. We found expected duration by summing up the expected durations along the critical path. We found the variance by summing up the variances along the critical path. And then because of the central limit theorem, we're not able to sum up the standard deviations along the critical path. So what we do is we just take the square root of the project variance and that gives us the standard deviation. All right, so moving on. Uh, what we want to do now is we want to find out what is the probability that the project will finish in less than 38 days. So we know that its expected duration is 41 days, but we also know that expected duration isn't a guaranteed thing. Because if we come back up here, for example, if we were looking at the expected duration of any individual activity, for example, activity A, well, its expected duration was 4.5 days, but we know that you know it could be as bad as 9 days or it could be as good as 2 days, right? It's just somewhere in this range. So what we want to do is we want to figure out, yeah, here, what is the probability that our project will finish in less than 38 days? So all we do is we calculate our z-score, uh, and our z-score uses, uh, here, let's, put, let's fill in our equation here. Let's maybe change the color. So we have z will be equal to x. This is the number of days in question, so that will be 38 in this case. 38 minus mu, which is our expected duration, so that's 38 minus 41, and over our project standard deviation, which was 2.92. 2.92. So if you just punch that in your calculator, you actually get a z-score that is negative 1.03. Okay, so what we do with the z-score, this z-score can lead us to a probability. So we have to go to a z-score uh, table. It's in the back of any statistics book, or if you just Google image search z-score table, you'll come up with a endless supply of them. So I found a z-score table for us to use down here. Uh, let's take a look at them. So first of all, we're looking for a z-score of negative 1.03. What we look at down here is there's two possible z-scores we can use, or z-score tables. One where our z-score will be negative and one where our z-score will be positive. So we have to locate our number, our z-score, and all of the and it will return one of these probabilities that's in the middle of floating in the middle of the table. So our z-score is negative 1.03. So it will be on the negative table. We come down here. First we'll locate negative 1. Oh, we have to go a little bit further than that. So we have negative one and it was 0 0.03. So we come up here and it was 0 0.03, right? So negative 1.03, we find out where those two match and we're getting this value here of 0 0.1515. So first of all, let's write that down. So this is giving us this probability, probability of Z, this particular Z score is equal to 0 0.1515. Now what that means is, the prob that means that the probability of landing in this shaded region here on your bell curve uh, is 15.15%. But what does that even mean? So let's look at this first of all. Well, this uh, your bell curve here will be centered over your mean, so that's 41. And this x value here, so that's we can even write that, so that's the mean. And this x value here, uh, well, that's 38. That's the day that we're looking at. And this is actually why we're getting a negative value, because we're looking at 38. If we were looking at a number that was larger than 41, we'd be getting a positive value. Uh, hence that this x is on the, the positive side of that would be 41, where here it's on the, the smaller side. All right, so, uh, and, and this is our x value. So this is saying that uh, this is all, the z-score table will always give you the probability of landing in a shaded region, no matter which one you're using. So now we're saying we have a 15% chance of, uh, of landing here in the shaded region, and this shaded region is anything that's less than 38. So well, the original question was, what is the probability that the project finishes in less than 38 days? Well, that's this probability, right? Anything, this could be 37, 36, you know, and it just trails off, you know, basically down to nothing. So the probability that we finish in less than 38 days, um, we're going to get a probability of actually 15.15%. All right, now let's look at something. Let's look at the other example where we're going to be more than 48 days. So we will change this slightly. So our z-score now will be z is equal to 43, uh, 43 minus 41 over our standard deviation, which was 2.92. And if you just punch that in your calculator, we will be getting a value of 0 0.6849, 68, 
four, nine, and let's actually just round that to six, eight. 0 0.68, that's good enough. All right, so when you're, we're gonna come down into our z-score tables. We have a positive value, so we're not using the negative values. We need to find the positive value, and so 0 0.68, let's come down, we'll be, uh, oh, we'll be actually be up close to the top here. So we have 0 0.6 and 0 0.8 will be right here. Uh, so that would give us 0 0.68. And then we meet, we find where those two meet, and we get this value in here. So they we're saying that this is giving us the probability of being less than the z-score actually is going to be 0 0.7517. All right, so but notice how I said that. I said that's the probability of being less than. And that's because, again, we're situating our mean here at 41. We're setting up our x value here at 43. Uh, and again, this is our mean, this is our x, and this is saying the probability, this z-score, and this probability for that z-score, um, the probability of being less than, so in this shaded region, so anything less than 43, that would include 42, 41, 40, 39, etc., uh, that probability is 75% probability. But we're looking at the probability, we want to find the probability here for blue that's uh, greater than. So everything under this curve is 100% of the probability, or you can think of it as 1. Uh, so what we have here, we're actually looking for 1 minus 0.75. One seven, right? Because if the shaded area is seventy five percent, well, we're looking for it's going to be about twenty five percent or something. So if you just punch this in your calculator, one minus this will give us the probability that we're not in the shaded region, uh, and that's actually uh, oh, I was close. It's uh, it's twenty four point eight percent chance. So we have a twenty four point eight percent chance uh, that our project will be longer than forty three days. Uh, it's, all, it's important to note that if, uh, if we wanted to know what the probability of being less than 43 days, well, then it would be that 75.17% chance. All right, hopefully that's not confusing. I will see you in the next video.